Hello everyone! Today we are sharing 10 super useful Lurge X upgrades. Based on the original Lurge X, the Lurge team released the Linear Rail and Direct Extruder upgrades. In addition, Lurge users have also designed many very creative and practical mods. Especially the last one. It can be the coolest upgrade of this year with powerful functions and cool appearance. So be sure to watch the video to the end. 1. Automatic Leveling Upgrade When a lot of guys get their Lurge X, the first upgrade they make is the Auto Leveling. The most popular auto leveling sensor is BL Touch Trust Touch. Gloria, a 19 year old girl, designed a print head bracket that can install bleh. She shared two versions for the Bowden Extruder and the Aquarius Direct Extruder users. Pinda is also a commonly used auto leveling sensor. Kiloprints, 3D Tinks, and John respectively designed Pinda mounting brackets for different extruders. You can follow these two diagrams to wiring 3D Touch and Pinda. Please remember to correctly set their parameters in the display after installation is completed. The probe offset needs to be measured and filled in by yourself. Probe trigger mode and other parameters can be filled in as shown below, so that the leveling effect is optimal. 2. LED light. Many guys often print at night. Adding in LED light above the Lurge X printer will allow us to better see the printing details. Alan not only added a light strip to Lurge X, but also added a switch so that we can turn the lights on or off at any time as needed. 3. Drawer. We often use many tools when printing, such as tweezers and cutting nipper. Is there anyone like me who often loses these tools? How convenient it would be if there was a toolbox next to machine. <laughs> Brady designed a drawer upgrade for Lurge X. For convenience, the drawer is divided into two parts, front and side. His X is the linear rail version. The drawer space is large and regular. Drawers can be quickly printed and easy to install. Fabian and Nubo designed the drawers on his basis for classic version users. They printed the inside and outside of the drawer in black and green respectively, so that it looks more coordinated and beautiful with the machine. Fabian uses Octoprint, so he also set aside space specifically for the Raspberry Pi. The PI Build Plate Guide. There must be guys like me. Every time I put PA on the heating bed, it is always difficult to align them. This is especially troublesome when the heated bed is very hot. The PI Build Plate Guide solves this problem perfectly. Install these two parts under the heat bed, which is designed with snug edges at the two corners of the heat bed, so you can easily align them when you place the PEI. Since these two parts are under the heated bed, it is recommended to print in ABS or at least PETG for high tolerance temperature. 5. Bobine Bracket If you don't want to use an additional filament holder, you can mount this bobine bracket to the printer like Jerome Ka saying. Brady also designed a ball bearing filament guide on this basis. You can place filaments from three different directions front back side and the feeding is very smooth from every direction. 6. TPU Anti-Slip Stand The next few upgrades are small, but they have great uses. You may also encounter that the Lurge X is dragged due to filament loading during the printing process. You can use TPU Fapu Lemon to print this anti-slip gasket designed by Jerome McKissing and paste it on the bottom of the printer to increase bottom friction. Coincidentally, Benjibiz also printed vibration damper with TPU and placed them under the I-axis profile, which can also effectively reduce machine vibration and displacement. 7. Bowden Extruder Improvement Looking at this very small print in my hand, you wouldn't think it would also be a great upgrade, right? Can you guess where it is used? If your X is upgraded with a direct extruder, you may find it a little difficult to feed the filament past the original Bowden extruder. 
At this point, you only need to put this little prints into the extruder and the loading filament will become silky again. 8. Screen knob and display cover the knob of the display is a very useful part, but someone said that this knob looks like an item from the 1980s. For this reason, Von Rokes designed a beautiful knob for it. If you're used to printing items at night, the screen's light may disturb your sleep. You can, like Sean, print a cover for the display to block the lights when printing at night. 9. Auto Nozzle Cleaner You will really love this mod. You no longer have to wait and clean the nozzle with tweezers before printing. The printer will automatically clean the nozzles. Isn't it very cool? Nice. After completing the installation like this, you need to add a piece of G-code to the slicer so that the print head can find the position of the brush and wipe the nozzle. The designer Rady gave a G-code example and you can view his video tutorial. 10. Two color printing with two extruder. Well, now it's time to share the coolest mods of the year. That's the two-in-one out print head designed by Rady. This print head has several very outstanding features. First, cooler two-color printing. It is a two-in and one-out print head. And one is for direct extruder and the other is for Bowden extruder, which has never appeared on other machines. This also puts the two extruders of Lurge X into full play and allows you to print items in two colors. And the beauty of the prints will be greatly improved. Furthermore, better heat dissipation performance. The front fan has been upgraded to a 4010 with stronger wind power, and the side has been upgraded to two bigger 5015 fans. While reducing noise, it also greatly improves the heat dissipation performance. Thirdly, this print head has also been upgraded with 3D Touch auto leveling at the same time. Finally, in terms of appearance, it even has eyes and eyebrows. It looks like a character of Video Gum Sonic that flies. It's hard to imagine that such a great designer is using a 3D printer for the first time. If you also perform the same modification, you can check out Rady's YouTube video. I will put the link below the video. He not only shared the installation method, but also shared the slicer configuration files. It is very thoughtful. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks to all the guys and girls for their super creative designs and selfless sharing. The original intention of the design of Lurge X is to experience the fun of building and modding the 3D printer with everyone. In addition to the above sharing, many other owners have also made great mods of Lurge X. If you are interested in this topic, please leave me a message below the video and we will continue to launch a series of mods videos